Hey everybody, I'm Dave. Welcome to Quickie Reviews. Today we're going to take a look at the Comery vlogging 48 megapixel with 4K video camera. I sort of bought this on a whim because I was looking for a camera. It looks cool. It already comes with a memory card and it was very inexpensive. Which, if you've ever gone camera shopping inexpensive, is kind of a warning sign. But I figured I'd give it a chance. I mainly bought this to take photographs, so we'll pit it against two other photo taking devices. My Canon I've had since the early 2000s. It's a PowerShot SD750. It takes 7.1 megapixel photographs. And a fairly new Android phone that I just got. It was used, but it is a TCL stylus and it has a 50 megapixel camera on it. Now guys, before we start out, keep in mind, I know jack of all about photography. That being said, the photos I'm gonna show you, I, I just randomly took them on the same day throughout the house. We'll do the Canon first and my dad's guitar. And I guess we can use the Canon as a baseline because I've had it for so long and it takes great pictures. I just wanted something a little fancier. The only thing I've done to these photos is add a label to it, so where you see it says Canon in green. Next up is the Comery. I realize watching a video to determine photo quality is not the greatest way to do it, but to me, this is kind of blurry, not the quality I was looking for. And last photo in this series is from the Android Stylus phone. In my peasant opinion, despite its low resolution, the Canon wins this round. And here we have the Canon again in the series I call Cat Wranglin' because not all the photos are exactly the same. And here we have the Comery Kitty, which is really washed out and not acceptable in my opinion for the purposes I wanted to use this camera for. And in this last phone photo, there's either violence or loving going on. I, I can't remember which one. But the phone, in my opinion, in this series actually did a better job than the other two. Next, outdoor photos we'll call his and hers. On the left is the purple peep leader, which we'll kind of focus on because of the, the bright purple color it has. Now, the Comery here, it actually represents the purple, what it looks like in real life, whereas the other two cameras did not. Yes, it still washes out the white on the Husky. If you pause the video, you can mainly see it on the Husky seat, where it transitions from white to yellow. It uh, kind of all looks white. Last is the stylus phone. If you force me to choose between the stylus and the Canon, it's kind of a toss up, but honestly, it'd probably go to the phone. Why? Because it's already in my pocket. This last series we'll call Axe and Albatross. Why that? Because there's an Axe board and an Albatross truck that's been around my neck for far too long. And here we have the Comery, once again, washing out the whites on the Axe board. But interestingly, as correct as the colors were on the purple people eater, they are not on this old crappy truck. And here we have the stylus phone again. Let's be real for a second here. The phone's going to win every single time because you already have it in your pocket. But at the same time, the Canon, which is basically 20 years old, still takes amazing photos. I can only imagine what the new digital cameras, how good they are. But back to the Comery, the first thing I notice is it feels really light in your hand. You'd expect a camera like this to be fairly heavy, which most high-end cameras are or more expensive ones. This one is not. It's pretty light. And the first time I powered it up, it literally reminded me of a dash cam that they just wrapped to make it look like a camera. The last thing we can take a look at is the 4K video taking capabilities of the Comery. You can see it's pretty choppy, not very good. Um, it could be because it's a cheap memory card, not fast enough, but I doubt it because I switched to the lowest resolution and it did the exact same thing. If you can tell I'm not happy with the Comery, you're right. The saving grace is it was 109 bucks. So the only time I could truly recommend this camera is if you have a child, let's say, you know, 12 to teenage years that wants to get into vlogging or photo taking, it'd be a cheap solution to get them started in that direction without breaking the bank. But even then, honestly, if they already have a smartphone, it's probably got a better camera and video taking capabilities on it. So as you've guessed, yeah, red thumbs down, I returned it. 
Thanks everybody for watching. I hope this one helped. I'll see you in the next vid.